and I'm giving credit to one of my subscribers. She was the one who brought this um, very story to my notice. Thank as soon as you bring your spouse into the UK or as soon as you take them to any foreign land, please, I beg of you, try to let them know the rules and regulation of the country and as well, let them know the rules and regulation that governs your accommodation. It is very, very important because one of our Nigerian doctors in the UK has just been evicted together with his wife that he newly brought from Nigeria. What this lady did, she was so innocent if you ask me. You know the way people will express their self innocently, not knowing that the person you are expressing yourself to it's not reasoning the way you are reasoning. This lady literally tried to express herself to one of these, our Onibo, a colleague of her husband. She didn't know that these people, the, the way they take things is different from the way we Africans or Asians reason things. Anyways, before we go further in this video, if you are meeting me for the first time, you are highly welcome. My name is Joanne and I'm based here in England. I bring you life happenings in the UK of our Nigeria brothers and sisters, Africa, Asia and other parts of the European countries. If it's something that interests you, please subscribe to my channel and also press the notification bell icon by doing so. Each time I post new videos, you'll be among the first people to get notified by YouTube. And for my returning subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thanks for always coming back to watch my videos. Thanks for leaving comments down below. See, those negative and positive comments, I appreciate both. I appreciate all of them. So if you have a negative comment, please leave it down below. I can actually learn from those comments as well. Because I see some of you sometimes you scold me in the comment section. See, to me, it is fine because I'm here to give you people information, life happenings, bring stories that you and I can learn from. So if you feel there's something that you want me to learn from as well, you can leave it in the comment section. Meanwhile, let me just give those short notice. If you want to tell me about a story of our African, Asian brothers and sisters, Nigeria, healthcare workers, whatever, in the UK or other European parts of the world, you can send me a message or leave a comment in the comment section I will get back to you or you can send me a message on Instagram at Joanne Ekeke1. Alright, let's go further in this video. I don't want to waste much of your time. So this our Nigeria brother is a doctor. You guys know that the UK, you know, they had shortage of doctor, nurses, healthcare workers. The government have to create a new visa route which is the health and care worker visa route that enables health care workers, um, doctors, nurses to come into the UK to work. So this doctor came into the UK to work and you know he's married so there's no way he can leave his family back home without bringing her here. So he brought the wife to UK. And when this doctor arrived, they gave him a single room in a shared apartment in one of the hospital accommodation. This single room was meant for him alone and he has flatmates, he had neighbors that were living alone. Some of these neighbors are Asians, some of them are Africans and some of them are white people, that's English and other, you know, foreigners. So this our uh, brother brought his wife from Nigeria to the UK. You see, sometimes uh, we should just um, find a way. I know I can't blame the wife because according to the story she was born. So this lady, the husband will go to work as a doctor and then he will leave her back at home. And you know this country sometimes can be very boring. Especially for somebody who is coming into the country. You are, where you are coming from is a very busy and sociable place, you know, somewhere like Nigeria. And then you are coming into the UK, you have no friend, you have no relative, even your neighbors, you don't even know them. So what this lady was doing, and this man was not supposed to bring a second party to stay with him, to live with him in the room. If he does that, he's breaking the rules, he's breaking the law of the accommodation. 
which he did. So he brought this the wife so that nobody will know that the wife is there. When he's going to work, he was always telling the wife to stay at home, you know, so that the administration administrators that are in charge of the accommodation will not see the wife. But because she was bored, she was always bored. So she now said she was always going out to look for somebody to talk to. She said, ah, the black people that she saw, they are not nice. None of them are giving her or paying attention to what she was saying. But there's this horrible lady, this white girl, colleague of the husband, that is still living in the shared apartment with them. This lady was always listening to her stories. And then she told the lady that, oh, my husband brought me from Nigeria and um, I'm living with him here. Yeah, he's going to work. And then... They said the Oibo lady was always asking her, what's your room number, who is your husband? Innocently, she would tell this lady, oh, my husband is this, Mr. Okonkwa Fidelis. His room number is number 206. He works here and here and here. He was telling this lady, this lady was making friends with her. So it's not like it's a one occasion thing. They were communicating when the husband goes to work. If the lady is free, the lady is at home. She will go to the lady and then they will start shouting. She will tell the lady a lot of things. See, you have to be careful. I used to say this thing that it's not everybody you see that will be your friend. It's not everybody that you see that, oh, this is my neighbor. And then you start telling them things. This UK is not, it's not Niger. It's not Africa. I know a lot of our healthcare workers that are doing these things. We see them on daily basis on YouTube that they will cry out, oh, I lost my job because I said this to my clients. You don't discuss your personal issue with your client or at work. You don't tell your neighbors everything. There are some things that see. For Nigeria, we feel talk anything. But for this country, you just have to be careful. So this lady went and, you know, reports the husband, this doctor, to the administrators of the building. And you know what, guys? They called this man and asked him. And then it was like, Oh no, I didn't do it. I don't have anybody in my room. At the end of the day, they said, okay, we'll follow you to your room, search your room, and see if there is anybody in your room. That was when Una admitted that of a true, he has somebody in his room, which is his wife. So the administrator told him that, see, your wife told somebody that this, 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 that. So the person told us, which is not right, it's not proper for you to do. So we are sorry, we are kicking you out of this hospital apartment this hospital accommodation this accommodation is not meant for you and your wife you need to go and rent an apartment for your wife if you want to live with her you rent an apartment for both of you so what i want to say here is that there's a lesson for us to learn here it's not everybody you see especially those of us that are working that came into this country newly see it's not everything you see that you won't be telling your colleague at work oh this person's collected money from me to do this this person do this so you have to be careful these people do it's not as if they are they are doing it out of wickedness no it's their normal life they feel if they see something that is not right they should speak and they will surely speak out they will surely speak out so if you know you are doing something anything contrary to what the law of your organization or your workplace have said you have to be careful because nobody is going to spare your bullshit in this country if you do something wrong you will be held accountable for it if you do something wrong and your colleague find out they will definitely report you to the authorities the appropriate authorities and then you'll be dealt with you face the penalty that comes with you breaking the law so guys i hope we've we learned one or two things from this man and his wife. So if you are bringing your family, you are bringing your spouse, see, you have to sit them down and let them know what you want them to know. So that tomorrow they are not going to put you in trouble. This is all I have and I'm giving credit to one of my subscribers. She was the one who brought this um, very story to my notice. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. I remain Joanne. Bye.